Okay, and, and, and Piccolo, the company, what's the problem that you solve? Who, who's the customer and what's the problem that you solve for them? I like to do analogies with the road network. So you've got the transmission network, is the equivalent of the motorways yeah. um, run by national or owned by National Grid in, in England. And then you've got the A and B roads, which are the distribution networks, where take the power to the last mile to the home. So okay. we're, we're working with the distribution side of things. And... And it's very interesting. It's a new application for flexibility. Um, so flexibility, as as we know, has been around for for a while. Okay, James, to, what, what is flexibility? Okay, okay. <laughs> backtrack a second. So flexi- and, and, and flexibility is a, is a really interesting concept because first thing I like to th- say is it's actually invisible. Um, okay, yep. It's it's actually filling in the gaps where you know, for, for example. Um, to get to a decarbonized energy system, we all know we need a lot more renewables. Renewable energy is intermittent. And flexibility is essentially filling in the gaps when it's not sunny or when it's not windy. That's a key role of flexibility. It's, it's being able to change demand or uh, generation to, uh, to, to meet an external requirement. In this case, balancing renewables. An alternative use case, and this is the, this is the new use case that we're looking at, is is managing congestion on the network. Okay. So where there is too much con- concentration of demand in a specific location, for example, if a whole se- you know if an entire street of people install uh, Tesla superchargers and try and charge them at the same time, you're going to create a problem on the network. Yeah. So that that would that would be a, u- a use case for essentially um, providing a service, a flexibility service to the the grid operator um, to to manage the grid effectively. So uh, smart management of traffic jams on the B roads, to use your analogy. 